now, I'm sure all of you are excited to learn a lot of insights. Without further ado, it's my privilege to introduce our first speaker for today. She graduated Manila Cum Laude with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Management Accounting at St. Louis University on 2017. On 2018, she graduated Cum Laude with a degree of BS Accountancy at St. Louis University. Currently, she is a Certified Public Accountant, an Audit Associate in Financial Services at RG Manabat and Company, a self-development coach at Premier Development Center, and an external auditor at KPMG in the Philippines. Formerly, she was an audit staff intern at Clemente Aquino and Company CPAs, and formerly an associate in accounting technology at St. Louis University School of Accountancy and Business Management. May I call in Ms. Abigail Angeles. Ayan. Hello. Good morning, dear students. Um, may I check kung um, you can hear me loud and clear? Yes, Ma'am Abigail. Loud and clear. Ayan. So, good morning, dear students. Or should I rather say, dear future colleagues. Diba? Kasi, um... I-claim na natin na in the future, magiging magkaka-work tayo, magkaka-contact, um, magkaka magkaka-network. So once again, I am Abigail and Angeles, but you may call me Ate Abby. I am from Region 4 itself and currently residing at Antipolo City, Rizal. So kaway-kaway naman dyan, mga kapwa ko Rizalenios. Ayan. So our topic for this morning is Voyage of Endless Possibilities. It is a unique but timely theme. No? Ang ganda ng theme ng ating um, Region 4 NFJP. Yeah. So, voyage. Nakakamiss naman talaga mag-travel, mamasyal, gumala, or kahit na mag-stay lang and kumain sa fast food sa tapat ng school nyo, basta kasama friends, di ba? Nakakamiss na to, lalo this time of pandemic, where we've stayed indoors, maybe for the longest time already. But remember, hindi lang ito ang voyage natin. Hindi lang sa pagbisita ng tourist spots and historical sites nag end ang ating travel or journey. More importantly, this life itself is a journey. Yan. So, I would like you I would like to invite you all to remember how excited or maybe um scared you were the first time you stepped in school. Um, it may either be preschool, university, or even daycare. So, um, ayan, um, can I check lang kung clear ba? Yes, mo. Ayan, sige. Thank you, PJ. So, ayan, so continuing, um, I'd like to invite you na i-reminis natin yung times na first tayong nag- nakatapak sa school, di ba? Maybe some of us even cried because they don't want their parents to leave them. They want their parents to be with them at class. Well, siguro as for me, um, excited ako nun pumasok para sa baon. Di ba? Napaka, napaka iba, iba yung motivation ko baon. Simula pa lang. Um, preschool pa lang yun, ha? So, also, I would like you to remember the times when you stayed up late all night, especially tuwing may bagyo, just to wait for announcements kung may pasok o wala. ba? Lagi nating inaabangan yan 11 p.m. or 5 a.m. announcements ng pag-asa. Also, recall those times in grade school or junior high when you think you can't finish a requirement or study or thesis or you can't study a topic, ba? But you did anyway. Just by thinking of this, we can all say, and we can all proudly say, na malayo na ang narating mo. And for that, I would like you to congratulate and celebrate these milestones and achievements, both big or small. So, pat naman natin yung sarili natin, tapik naman natin yung balikat natin, and say, um, and say to ourselves, you did well, you did great, I'm proud of you, self. Yan. 
So for example, I'm proud of you, PJ. I'm proud of you, Shania. I'm proud of you, Abby. Yan. I I acknowledge naman natin tong small and big wins natin, or ang small and um, big victories natin. So, all of these challenges you have encountered need you who you are today. A stronger, and believe it or not, a wiser version of yourself. So, ano nga bang pinupunto ko dito? Indeed, a lot has happened with the past 16 or 17 or 18 years of your lives. And I assure you, a lot is still in store for you, my dear ABM colleagues. Remember, colleagues ang tawagan na natin, ha? Yan. Marami pa tayong pagsubok na kakaharapin in pursuit of our dreams. And um, siguro, I would like you to always look at these challenges as learning grounds, um, as grounds to strengthen ourselves. Again, challenges as avenues to learn. So punta naman tayo sa endless possibilities. Ano nga ba ang naka-in-store para sa ating future accountants? So I would like to give you a glimpse and present to you the different career paths as an accountant. So there are four fields um, for, account for accountants, namely academe, public practice, private practice, and government. Yan. So yun yung four fields na pwede natin Puntahan, should we pursue um, accountancy? And hindi naman, hindi naman magsistay ka lang sa isang field, pwedeng magpalipat-lipat ka ng field and ma mag-learn ka sa field na to. Diba? So, punta tayo sa academe. Kasi ito yung pinaka-familiar sa atin. So, just like your professors who impart you with knowledge and equip you to become accountants. So, yung mga professors natin, um, I would like to uh, take this time na i-think natin sila. Kasi without them, uh, hindi natin maabot kung nasan man tayo ngayon. And personally, I would like to thank my professors who not only taught us the accounting standards, yung mga technical aspects, pero more importantly, pinaka na-appreciate ko yung mga times na pinapalakas nila yung loob natin to, to go on with our dream. So, I myself have not been in the academe, but during my work as an auditor, we were given the chance to train our colleagues, um, from new hires to supervisors to managers. And I can say it is really a rewarding experience of sharing what you know, as well as from learning from them. So remember, it is always a two-way learning process. You learn from your professors, and believe it or not, they also learn a lot from you. So punta naman tayo sa second um, field na pwede natin puntahan as accountants. Is, it is a public practice. So why is it called a public practice? It provides accounting work for the general public. So in public practice, you have a variety of clients pro of um, variety of industries. So dito nagsiservice tayo ng companies. So under public practice, may tatlo pa tayong um, subfields. Pwede kang mag-specialize in tax, advisory, and audit. So when you specialize in tax in public practice, um, you will prepare tax returns as well as advice on how advise the clients on how they will deal with their taxes. Ayan. Um, second, na subfield ng public practice is advisory. So sa advisory, parang nagbibigay ka ng advice sa clients. So pwedeng um, example ng uh, areas dito is IT advisory. So, itatest mo yung controls ng accounting systems, ng IT accounting systems ng clients mo. And also, risk consulting. Um, ikaw yung pupuntahan ng clients mo for, for expert um, advice regarding sa risk and how to mitigate these risks. Yan. So, third audit. Ayan. Ito na yung pinanggalingan ko. So, in audit, um, you will give a reasonable assurance that the financial statements are free from material misstatements. Di ba? Napakalalim naman. Pero I assure you, you will um, understand this more as you go through your journey with your accountancy course. So, um, in audit, uh, share ka lang sa experience ko, we were given different clients from various industries. Uh, for example, banks, hotels, shipping companies, Ano pa ba? Insurance companies, 
Yan, you audit natin sila. And what I like most about audit is that you apply the lessons you've learned in school. So yung mga theories, yung mga problems na na, na inaaral natin sa school, ma-apply mo talaga siya at makikita mo siya first hand in audit. Yan. So that's one side of what I like in audit, yung technical skills, di ba? And um, more importantly, sa audit din, nahuhun ang ating soft skills. So yung soft skills naman, nahuhun siya in audit when you get the chance to communicate with various people, meet different clients of all positions. So you, were, you are given a chance to communicate with vice presidents, finances, financial officers, presidents, ganyan ng companies. To give your, um, to give your uh, findings, ganyan. And third naman, punta tayo sa private practice. Also known as practice in commerce and industry. So unlike public practice, you provide, uh, sa private practice, you provide professional finance for accounting departments. Uh, sorry, can uh, you will be having department will be in charge uh, in the preparation of financial statements. Or depending, you will be in charge of budgeting, of bookkeeping, of other decision-making areas of the company. So I can say, and I can proudly and confidently say that our chosen profession is good, is great, actually. Especially in terms of availability of work. Imagine, all companies need an accountant or finance officer. Diba? So, um, swak na swak talaga. Hindi, ka, hindi siya mahirap maghanap ng work. Hindi mahirap maghanap ng gusto mong i-explore na opportunity. So, uh, so far, we've discussed the academe, uh, public practice, private practice, or practice in commerce and industry, and lastly, um, I would like to share with you na pwede din tayo mag-work sa government. So, pag sa government, we will be working for the Republic of the Philippines. So, examples ng pwede nating maging work as accountants, pwede tayo sa COA or Commission on Audit. Ito yung nag-check at nag-audit ng government expended first. Just to check kung tama ba, kung may corruption bang nagaganap, ganyan. Yan, sa, yan yung magandang role ng um, accountant accountants para sa ating bayan. Also, pwede ka ding maging accountants ng different departments. For example, sa LTO, sa um, Department of Tourism, yan, sa iba't ibang departments, may mga kailangan nila ng mga accountants. Um, also, pwede din tayo sa Bureau of Internal Revenue. BIR yung, yung um, task para sa ating taxes, di ba? And one more na pwede pa nating puntahan sa government is sa National Bureau of Investigation or NBI. So, trivia lang, uh, one of the, the requirements for to be an, an NBI agent is that you should be an authority or a CPA, a Certified Public Accountant. So, amazing, di ba? Napaka-amazing talaga ng profession natin. So, recap lang, um, there are endless possibilities na you can um, delve into once you pursue accountancy, that is um, in academia, in public practice, in private practice, and in the government. Excited, diba? Indeed, endless possibilities. And as I've said earlier, marami pa tayong pagsubok na kakaharapin in pursuit of our dream. And may we always look at this as learning grounds or as grounds to strengthen ourselves, as grounds to mold ourselves. Again, challenges as avenues to learn. And with this, I would like to share to you what my college professor would always remind us. Character is more important. So what does he mean by this? Character is more important. Yes, grades are important, but character is more important. Charac your character will take you to places. Um, it's okay na magkamali, mamali yung sagot mo sa assignment or quiz or exam, it's okay na mababa yung score mo or it's okay na you even fail. Pero when you have this right character, this right attitude, uh, matututo ka, may, may purpose yung mga failures na yun. 
mahalaga ka, ang mahalaga natuto ka, 'di ba? And um character it is it is how you rise up every time you fall. It is being patient with the difficult topics and being disciplined in studying. So character it is related to patience and discipline. Again, magiging pasensyoso tayo sa mga mahirap na topics kasi wala namang madali na at this point of in our lives, wala nang madali. Lahat challenging because lahat bago. We're pursuing specialization. Pero ang mahalaga, maging patient ka sa sarili mo and maging disciplined ka kahit na ang daming distractions, ang daming um, problems, maging disciplined ka na ah, mag-aaral pa rin ako, ilalaban ko to. Magiging CPA ako. Ayan. So, connected din dito sa character, yung sabi din ng isa ko pang professor. Paano ka ba makakaakyat sa taas ng bundok kung iiyak ka lang sa baba? So this is related naman to being proactive. In this chapter of your life, being proactive is one of the greatest traits you would have. Ano ba yung being proactive? It is dealing with something before it needs to be taken care of. Napakalalim, di ba? It is dealing with something before it needs to be taken care of. So sa, um, ang kabaliktaran niya, being passive, being retroactive, being inactive. Yan, yun yung mga um, opposite uh, traits ng being proactive. So, hindi ka lang iiyak sa baba ng bundok, sabi ng professor ko, di ba? Hindi ka lang iiyak sa baba ng bundok. Ano yung gagawin mo? You should take even the smallest steps to go where you wanted to go. Hindi ka lang mag-aantay ng announcements at aasa kung may pasok o wala. Kung may break, may sem break or wala. Instead, sisimulan mo na mag-aral at magbasa-basa, di ba? Kung may pasok, edi good, prepared ka. Kung wala, edi good, hindi na-waste yung time mo. Hindi mo lang iiyakan yung problem at yung subject at sasabing ang hirap naman ito. Lahat naman gumabagsak dito eh. I did not say bawal umiyak. Um, dapat lagi natin i-acknowledge. I-acknowledge mo at i-embrace mo na mahirap yung subject. Ilabas mo lang yan. Pero hindi ka titigil doon. Hindi ka lang iiyak. Sisimulan mong basahin at aralin. Sisimulan mong mag-consult ng ibang books. At pwede rin mag-consult ng ibang friends. ba? Diba? So this is the same for any course you will take. Mapa-accountancy man yan, engineering, information technology, etc. Great things comes from small beginnings. And a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Diba? Ito yung mga famous quotes na pangahawakan natin throughout our um, senior high and college life. So, ba't ba namin kong pinag-share sa inyo na, na quotes ng mga professors ko? Share ko lang, nung college ako, every time na nagpapa words of wisdom, yung mga professors ko, sinusulat ko talaga siya sa loob ng cover ng book. Di ba? Book. Tapos yung sa likod, yan. Doon ko sinusulat o kaya sa mga first and last pages kapag napuno na yun. And whenever I'm feeling down, or sa mga times na hindi ko talaga maintindihan yung inaaral ko, I would simply go back to these um, words of wisdom. Again, character. Imamold mo yung character mo. Character mo. It is learning to uplift yourself. Yan. And we should always remember, the harder we fall, the higher we bounce. ba? Diba? Hindi tayo parang bumbilyan na kapag nahulog, mababasag. Or kapag baso na kapag nahulog, mababasag. Instead, maging parang bola tayo na kapag nahulog, magbabounce. Magbabounce ng mas mataas pa, di ba? So, voyage of endless possibilities. Indeed, this career path is really promising and exciting. Endless possibilities. Marami kang pwedeng putahan. Marami kang pwedeng i-pursue. Marami kang pwedeng specialize at. But what I want you to remember in this journey is that Character is important. It is how you treat others and how you treat yourself. Diba? Um, being patient and disciplined. Next one, gusto kong pabaon sa journey nyo na ito, is proactiveness. Hindi tayo basta-bastang magwawine, mag, magre-reklamo, magsasabing ang hirap naman ito. Instead, um, i-aatake na talaga natin yung problem. Gagawa tayo ng way para 
para masolusyonan yung problem natin, yung challenges sa atin. And of course, lastly, gusto kong pabaon sa journey nyo na ito is faith. Um, always know that God is always with us at siya yung author ng journey natin. Siya yung driver, siya yung captain ng journey natin. Walang imposible kay Lord, basta kapit lang tayo sa Kanya. At uh, lahat naman na to na plano na niya. Um, always nourish your spiritual faith at um, always do things for Him, for God, di ba? And all else will follow. So again, um, my dear ABM colleagues, yan, my dear ABM colleagues, I'm excited for the voyage you are about to take or you're currently taking. Hindi man, hindi man normal times ngayon, maraming struggles sa online class, sa sa career path na gusto nyo, maraming hindi pa kayo certain, pero gusto kong pabaon sa journey na to. Character is more important, proactiveness at faith. So thank you very much. It's very, and dami ko natutunan dun sa talk ni Miss Abigail. So, so uh, I, I would just like to share a partner. So, so gusto ko yung sinabi ni Miss Abigail na character is the most important thing we should bear in mind because that is right. So, in taking challenges, we should take it as an avenue to learn things. And with with our quest for success, we need the right attitude, the right mindset, and of course, it is not enough that we have those things. Mentally and emotionally, we also need to be physically ready. And by doing that, we should be ready, or we should be we should take actions of our claims in our minds. Di ba nga sabi nga? I think cliche it may seem, but actions speaks louder than words. Ang ganda ang ganda nang sinabi ni Miss Ati. <laughs> yeah, tama ka John partner. Because I also believe in sinabi ni Ati Abigail na the harder we fall, the higher we bounce. Diba? Super sabi ko, you know, the moment I hear those words from Ate Abigail's mouth, sabi ko, oo nga, no, parang isip ko kasi nung bago ako, bago ko itake yung course na accountancy, what if bumagsak ako, I always think na yung negative sides of it, instead of thinking the positive sides of yung taking the course, yung accountancy, yun sa kala nila, misconception about being an accountancy student, mas magaling ka sa math. So, di ba, parang, ang ano lang, ang, alam mo yun, nakaka, ala, hindi, yung expectations ng marami is, sobrang layo sa expectation nating mga accountancy students. So, di ba, yan, I hope guys, mga future R4JP, yan, kasi sinabi ni Ate Abigail is, na-inspire kayo to be one of us, di ba, sabi ni Ate Abigail, We are soon to be your co-colleagues, di ba? Sabi ni Ate Abigail. So, ayan guys, at this juncture, uh, we will be having an open forum to address your questions and clarifications with regards to the discussion which will be answered by our resource speaker, Ate Abigail. So, guys, you can comment sa ating chat box or sa ating Facebook Live yung mga gusto niyo itanong kay Ate Abigail. So, we we'll wait for your question in our chat box. Okay. So, while waiting, yung sinabi ni Kuya PJ na misconception about uh, see about BSA students. Guys, it, ito, yung, ito yung kailangan nyo. <laughs> Basic calculator. Not the, not the scientific calculator. Okay, so keep your questions coming. Super yeah. nakaka-inspire this morning yung talk ng a- ni Ate Abigail. Okay. Yan, mga future R4J teams, huwag na kayong mahiya. So, tanong lang ng tanong kasi Ate Abigail is so welcome to answer your questions naman. So, huwag kayong mahiya, guys. Ayan, let's see. Huwag na ihiya pa sila, partner. Ayan. Hintayin natin. Oh, there. Kuya PJ, would you mind? Ayan. Ate Abigail, we have a question from Shane Evlakas. Ang tanong niya po is, 
how do you organize your time for studying? Ayan, thank you for your wonderful question, Shane. And siguro, um, for speaking on behalf of your um, batchmates, no? kasi it's really a struggle, lalo na napakadami nating subjects, na i-organize natin yung time natin for studying. So, um, siguro sa akin, uh, more on quality study tayo kaysa sa quantity study. Hindi sa mas marami kang time na igugugol, pero sa quality na igugugol mo sa pag-aaral. So, um, para sa akin, mas matimbang yung mag-aral ka na, fo- na 100% yung focus mo kesa sa paputol sa, kunyari, 10 hours ka nag-aral, pero ang dami namang singit na Facebook, Instagram, ayan. So, um, pag nag-aaral ako noon, uh, tinatanggal ko yung distractions, as in, wow, napaka, napaka ano, no? Napaka-disciplined. Um, tinatanggal ko yung distractions, nilalayo ko yung phone ko, or meron pa nga akong productivity app, minsan na i-off niya lahat ng social media sa phone ko. Tapos mag-aaral ako na nakafocus talaga ako sa text, sa, sa book, yan. Um, I organize my time for studying by, uh, by identifying the best time for me to study kasi hindi, hindi tayo pare-pareho. Merong may mas nakakaaral pag gabi, may, may nas, mas nakakaaral kapag umaga. So for me, ako, um, gigising ako ng maagang-maaga para mag-aral. Gusto ko kasi fresh pa yung utak ko. Kasi late na ako nakaka-uwi, so parang medyo bothered na yung utak ko noon, pagod na. And gusto ko, pag may i-input akong kaalaman sa utak ko, uh, fresh pa yung utak ko para kaya niya i-absorb. So nag-aaral ako, nag-alarm ako, minsan 5 a.m. or even 3 a.m. para lang makapag mag-aral. And also, um, hindi ko maaya advice yung cramming, yung mag-aaral ka just, just the day before the exam. Cliche as it sounds, pero hindi talaga siya ganun nakaka-help. Short-term memory lang yung kaya ng cramming, pero kailangan na, yung inaaral kasi natin ngayon, hindi na lang for short term, for long term na to, for, for our journey ahead na to, ba? So, um, unti-untiin mo, kunyari may exam ka next week, may dinestas yung teacher mo ngayon, i-review mo na. Marami naman tayong, uh, hindi naman marami yung time natin, pero kaya natin tong uh, bigyan siguro ng space kung mahalaga naman talaga to, ba? So, unti-untiin mo na para hindi siya isang bagsakan, para alam mo kung ano pa yung itatanong mo sa teachers mo na hindi mo maintindihan, ba? Yun. So, um, to sum it, I organize my time sa studying by finding the best time for me to study, quality over quantity, and uh, inaayos ko din yung schedule. So, nagpa-plan ahead ako. Again, kasi voyage to, ba? Dapat handa tayo. Nagpa-plan ahead ako kung ano na yung dapat kong aralin. And share ko din pala, during the board exams, um, may, may kaklase ako ng high school, tapos may kuya siya. Yung kuya niya, top notcher. Tapos ang in-advice niya sa amin, um, always do these two things. Study, study a topic you do not know or master a topic you know. Yun. Kasi yun yung talagang pinakawakan ko din nung nag-aaral na ako for board exams. Topic at uh, topic, ay, study a topic you do not know. Um, ma- malaki ang coverage ng accounting, ng accountancy. And we should always give time doon sa hindi pa natin alam. Dapat dapat aralin natin yung mga hindi pa natin alam. And second one, master a, uh, a topic you know. Uh, hindi lang tayo magsa-stop sa nalaman natin, pero kailangan may mastery tayo noong topic na yun. So yun lang. And I hope nasagot ko yung tanong machine. Ayan, thank you po. Ayan, thank you po. Ayan. So, ayan, future r for gps Tanong lang kayo ng tanong. Huwag kayo mag Ayan. Thank you po, sabi ni Shane Eblacan. Relate ba kayo doon? Yung cramming, procrastinating. <laughs> yes, tama ka dyan, partner. Alam ko, ano, may nahiya lang silang magtanong. Pero sige, future r for gps And behalf sa inyo, I'll be the one asking the question to Ate Abigail. So, alam ko niya kayo, pero alam ko gusto niya itanong ko. Kasi, before, ako, before then, isip, nag, nag, gusto ko rin ito itanong sa mga 
magte-take ng accountancy. So, Ate Abigail, ano po bang ang pumasok sa isip mo? Ano po na to take this kind of course po? Like, sino po naging inspiration nyo or paano at bakit? Yan, napaka pang Miss Universe naman na tanong na yan, PJ. So, thank you for your wonderful question, Sarat. <laughs> Ayan. Um, ako, personally, nag-take ako ng accountancy kasi na-inspire ako dun sa family friend namin. Um, hindi siya, hindi common yung accountancy and not even in my vocabulary nung grade school ako. Siguro ang famous, um, ang mas familiar na career path sa atin is maging doktor, maging engineer. Pero mas na, nakilala ko lang yung accountancy dahil sa family friend namin. She's a CPA and she was working for BIR. Tapos marami pa siyang business. So yun talaga yung admire ko. Tapos, um, mahilig din kasi ako sa math. O diba, misconception yun. Hindi lang, porke mahilig ka sa math, accountancy na kasi may calculator. Tapos sa work naman, may uh, Microsoft Excel. Yan. Pero, Personally, nagka-interest talaga ako sa business and nagka-interest ako sa how things run through in a business, kung paano siya gumagalaw. And I think the best avenue for me is pursuing accountancy. Mas, um, at hindi naman ako nabigo doon kasi ang dami ko talagang natutunan sa accountancy. Believe it or not, eh, um, EJ and Shania, Shania tama ba? na na ang dami nating natututunan sa accountancy, di ba? Na hindi hindi natin natututunan should we take other courses. Na for business sake talaga na nag nagpursue ako ng accountancy and interest ko talaga siya. And na-inspire lang ako nung uh, family friend namin. Yan. Thank you po, Ate Abigail. So, we also have a que another question in our FB Live. So, sabi po niya, Miss Abigail. Good day, Miss Abigail. Thank you for your inspiring quotes you've shared. The question is, is how hard to be a CPA during this pandemic? Thank you po. Ayan. How hard is it a CPA during this pandemic? Si Sumagi din sa utak ko um, during the early days of pandemic. Ano nga ba yung role natin as CPAs? Especially, syempre, di ba, may medical frontliners tayo. Parang hala, na naman ang bag ko, sila, at least nakaka-help sila sa pandemic na to. But, um, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo during one of the trainings we have conducted sa audit, um, may nag-share sa amin na we are the financial frontliners. Di ba? Um, as a CPA or as an accountant, ini-enable natin yung economy na mag-work kahit na pandemic kahit na um, hindi na tayo hindi na tayo pumupunta sa office kahit na nagka-lockdown kailangan mag mag-go on pa rin yung economy mag-work mag-move pa rin yung businesses kasi marami yung umaasa ng livelihood nila para sa businesses natin so dito talaga sumasagi sumagi sa isip ko we are the financial frontliners and it's really challenging kasi especially in our work as an auditor kasi we should deal with um, various clients and various companies at um, nagka, naging work from home setup starting March 15 last year. Mahirap siya, challenging, but at the same time also rewarding kasi kaya naman pala nating i-work siya sa bahay. Yun. And um, kaya nating tumulong makaambag sa, sa, sa pagpapais ng pandemic na to. Kasi we enable the economy. We help enable and we help the economy uh, move, di ba? Ayan. So, sana nasagot ko yung tanong nyo. Wow. That's true. Miss Abigail, this question is from me. I'm just curious uh, to follow up that uh, that certain question. Di ba po yung other, other employees I affected? For example, uh, ng work from home or yung iba na tanggalan. Ah, kayo po ba affected po kayo nung pandemic because uh, nawala yung work nyo? Or hindi naman po dahil ang CPA ay parang computer naman talaga yung kaharap? Is there any changes? Aside from, you've mentioned po about the clients. May other differences pa po ba? Ayun. Um, sa tingin ko, lahat naman tayo na-apektuhan sa pandemic. Pero 
um, luckily and blessed din naman tayo na naka-work pa din tayo kahit na may pandemic. Ayun din yung kagandahan. And doon ko din super na-appreciate yung pag ko ng course na to kasi kaya mo siyang i-work remotely. Um, still may collaboration pa din with your team, with your workmates, pero kaya naman siya through the internet. So hindi siya naapektuhan. And um, ayun, malaking help na din yun, especially na may pinipace tayong ganitong challenge during these times. Thank you po. So ayan guys, ayan pa yung isang advantage nating mga future CPA. So mm-hmm. kahit ka- Kahit uh, siguro others may think that this is boring, but in times of pandemic, I think very helpful siya kasi we work from home through computers. It's very convenient. Thank you po, Miss Happy Day. Ayan, Thank tama you. ka dyan, partner. Ayan, nahihiya talaga ang ating mga future r 4 oh, to ask ati Abigail question. So, sige, ako na lang ulit. <laughs> So, ayun, sigo ako din kasi before ako mag-take ng accountancy, um, pumasok din sa isip ko kasi daming nagsasabi daw, daw, na if you became an accountant, just like Ate Abigail, is sabi ka, daw 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 firma mo, is cha-ching, cha-ching. So, alam ko, curious din kayo dyan, mga future armor, JP, yan. Alam mo, gusto niya yung itanong, nahihiya lang kayo, pero sige, ako na. Ayun, Ate Abigail, <laughs> Ayan, na ang isang firma is cha-ching, cha-ching. Ayan. So, na-encounter ko din yan before. Um, as a student, nasabi nila, yung firma mo, cha-ching, cha-ching. Ano yun, autograph? Yung artista nga may buy, ay, libre lang yung firma nila, di ba? Joke lang. Kidding aside, um, hindi ko pa siya na-encounter na ganun. Siguro, kung sa audit siya, yung firma ng partners, yung pinaka-boss namin, it would amount to something. Pero hindi lang siya, basta kang pipirma kasi hindi lang, hindi ka lang magbibigay ng opinion, ng, ng assurance mo, na basta ka lang pumipirma without checking the financial statements, di ba? Hindi lang, hindi ka lang basta pipirma without doing any work. So, as, um, as uh, just like other professions, kailangan gagawin mo yung, yung, part mo, yung, yung research mo, gano'n. So, hindi po totoo yung pipirma ka lang sa ching-ching. Siguro, yung pirma ng, ng uh, audit head, for example, it would amount to something, pero hindi lang siya basta po mirma. It is a collective work, collective term, um, collective efforts ng team para i-check yun before siya po mirma. Thank you po, Ate Abigail. So, ayan nga, okay. Linawan na rin ako. So, hindi pala siya, ano. So, syempre, lahat naman din ng work is, kung wala kung hindi mo ginagawa ng ayos, syempre, hindi siya marireciprocate into something. Like, syempre, hard work. May kapalit talaga yung hard work ng isang tao. So, ayan, mga future r jp yan. So, na-inspire na ba kayo? Ayan, chikahin so, natin ng ating mga R4JP yan. Pwede, mga future R4JP. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Sige, go partner, go lang. Uh, pwede mo lang kasi I want that firma-firma. I had an experience kasi with the, our former dean kasi that time, that I am first year ata, lumaban ako sa PICPA Laguna, uh, Quiz B, and then meron dong mga proctors na meron siyang dalang ano, parang mga pipirmahang tax. And then sabi nung din nung, nung din ko, ayan, tignan mo yan, oh. dala-dala niya, isang firma niya lang, 10,000 na yan. And then sabi ko, wow, parang related siya sa tax that time. And ayun, nasa C plus na, pero na-firma pa din siya during the competition. I mean, after naman. So, dala niya pa din yung work. And sabi talaga ni Dee, tumatak siya sa akin, isang firma niya lang, 10K na yun. Eh, ang dami niyang papers. Nakita ko. <laughs> ang cute na. Grabe. So, anak all na lang talaga. So, ayun nga, kayo sabi ko, chikahin natin sila. So, kaya nga ng mga sinabi ni Ate Abigail kanina, mga future r 4 JPN sa tingin nyo, ano yung gusto nyo, ano, um, i-take na a field when it comes to accounting. Kung gaya ng sinabi ni Ate Abigail, we have our academe, our government, our public, um, um, sa audit, and 
ayun guys, alin doon yung mga natitipuhan mo? Or, I, I see myself to be this. Yung katulad ng ganun. Or gusto niya rin maging um, CPA lawyer in the near future. So, sino makakapagsabi? So, yan, yeah, tingnan natin guys. Sino ba? Ano bang mga gusto niyo? Ano yung gusto niya? Parang, at the moment na sinabi ni Ate Abigail yun, ay, gusto ko maging ganito. Ay, parang ang ganda nito. So, tingnan natin sa ating mga future r for jp yes. Kasi ako, personally, I really want to be a CPA lawyer in the near future. So, yes. <laughs> Soon to be ito. Ayan, guys. Claim it, guys. Claim it. Claim it, yes. C- PJ, magiging attorney PJ. He's on CPA ka. Diba? Yes. Um, share ko lang din. When you uh, want to pursue yung pagiging lawyer and you take um accountancy as um iprilo um sabi ng friends ko or sabi din sa mga sa tweets sa research na one third ng coverage ng bar exams or one third ng coverage ng um law law school is na take nyo na sa CPA so napakaganda talaga yung pre course kasi sa CPA uh, sa accountancy Meron na tayong taxation, meron na tayong different law subjects. During our time, may lima ng law subjects. So, napakagandang um, ground talaga niya, napakagandang stepping stone or napakagandang pre-law ng accountancy. Yan. So, may future attorney pala. Wow. So, attorney PJ? <laughs> Nagpa-practice yes. na ako eh. Um, CP, uh, ano, Miss... Um, the, Shania. <laughs> so, so uh, JP, pag-game mo niya. Nabalitaan ko din po yung sinabi ni Miss Abigail na maganda talagang pre-law ang, ang accountancy. Kaya, good choice na sa mga ibang mag-ula. Keep your questions coming. Sayang naman yung opportunity because I think Miss Abigail is very willing to answer your questions. May mga misconceptions pa kayo dyang nasa isip. You can address that here in our seminar. Yan, mga R4, future R4JP yan. So, huwag na, tala- huwag na kayo mahiya. Grabe naman. Yan. We'll wait for your questions, guys. So we have our question here from our regional vice president for academics, Hi Ate Anna. So her question is uh, for Miss Abigail. Any tips po para malaman po namin what field ng accounting ang magfit sa amin? Ay yan ay wait wala pala yung video ko. Yon so um confirm ko lang yung question kung um any tips kung ano field ng accounting yung para sa inyo. Yan. Sige, sige. Um, siguro yung best way na matutunan or mas maintindihan natin yung field ng accounting para sa atin is through the undergraduate studies o yung sa college. Kasi sa college, ibibigay na nila lahat ng, hindi man lahat, pero karamihan ng kakailanganin mo para sa accounting journey mo. Um, in college, you will study audit, you will study tax, Um, you will also study government accounting. Ayan. And ito yung first um, first picture or first insight natin into the career. So, ako personally, um, during my undergraduate study, studies, uh, sobrang na-enjoy ko yung audit. Hindi man siya, hindi man, hindi man ako highest lagi sa audit, pero na-enjoy ko siya kasi nare-run through niya lahat ng topics. Medyo, ano na kasi siya, um, Medyo coverage na niya yung iba pang topic sa financial accounting. Pero um, another tip, um, aside from delving into what is given to you in the undergraduate studies, is to um, really try it firsthand. So since ako, um, interested ako sa audit, uh, tinry ko talaga siya right after passing the board exams. So yun yung first na pinuntahan ko sa audit. And hindi naman ako nagsisi kasi... Napakaganda ng opportunities na provide ng audit and napaka napaka daming learning experiences. So siguro if ano, if hindi naman hindi mo at your first try hindi naman siya yung 
parang tinitibok talaga or nilalaman ng puso mo, pwede ka naman lumipat sa ibang field without um, having additional studies, di ba? Pwede kang mag-apply ka naman sa government or mag-apply ka sa private company or mag-apply ka sa school to try um, teaching. Ayan. To, ano, first-hand experience talaga para mahanap mo yung kung saan ka talaga sasaya. And I think mahaba pa naman yung journey natin. For example, you graduate at the age of 22 or 23 or 21. Marami ka pang time na i-explore yung world for accountancy and hanapin mo kung saan yung passion mo. Ayan. Thank you po, Ate Abigail. Ayan, sana nasagot ni Ate Abigail ang inyong tanong, Ate Anad. So, ayan, guys. Grabe, ang hirap ng odd. <laughs> Wala pa kami nyan eh, partner. So, ayan. Um, Let's see. see. <laughs> Sabi nga, auditing begins yun, accounting eh. True, partner, true. That is so true. Yan, partner, we have a question from our future R4JPN, si Arabella Balmosena. So, sabi niya, question from my classmate po, kung malaki yung impact or influence ng college, university, na papasukan to the point na need mong pumili ng prestigious and proficient na university. So, ayun po ang tanong niya, Tia Abigail. Ayan. So, thank you for your um, wonderful question, Arabella. So, ako din, when I was your age, um, medyo sumagi din sa isip ko na ah, nagmamatter ba talaga yung university, yung prestige ng name ng papasukan mong um, college or university? Kasi that time, um, do taga Antipolo kami, I studied in Baguio City from high school to college. And parang nag-iisip ako noon na bumalik ng Manila to continue my studies. At laging um, pumapasok sa isip ko, saan kaya ako mag-aaral or saan ko ipopursue ang accountancy. But like what I've said earlier, um, yung character mo, yung, um, yung magiging puhunan mo talaga, hindi yung school. And napatunayan ko naman yan when, uh, while working na this, um, this point in my life, na hindi na nagbamatter yung college or university na pinasukan mo. I've met. Um, wonderful people from different universities and colleges, both yung mga top colleges sa Manila and also provincial colleges. As in, wa- wala, na, wala na yung bahid ng kung saan ka nag-aral kapag nagtrabaho ka na. Hindi na nila papansinin, though siguro some would pansin yung ganong point, pero hindi na siya magmamatter. Ang magmamatter na kasi talaga sa buhay mo, yung character mo, how you deal with problems, how you um, take what is given to you and how you make most out of it. At saka pare-pareho lang naman yung um, yung tinuturo ng mga um, universities. Uh, pare-pareho lang yung accounting standards, yung curriculum na kailangan nila i-discuss. May mga... Uh, and uh, do different universities yan, kahit na sabihin mo prestigious university yan kilala siya top university may uh, yung yung mga professors din doon um, iba-iba din the same way na doon sa ating local colleges um, iba-iba din yung professors natin pero ang mahalaga nga um, yung character mo kasi hindi naman yung professor mo o yung university mo yung magte ng exam pagdating ng araw hindi sila yung titik ng CPA license licensure exam kundi ikaw. So, um, ang advice ko lagi is to take care of your character, build your character. Hindi siya, hindi siya sa labanan ng universities or ng professors, pero labanan niya nung, nung will mo, nung character mo, nung discipline, nung patience mo, nung yung determination mo ng pag-aaral and to become a CPA. in every in every aspect of life i, I agree with miss uh, abigail talaga na character is what what's the most important thing in this world so kahit kahit na mahirap yan if you have the right mindset kaya kaya mo yan sasabihin ng utak mo 
Yan, yeah. tama ka dyan, partner. Kasi natutunan ko rin doon sa sinabi ni Ate Abigail na it really boils down sa determination ng isang student na to work harder talaga. At saka yung the flame inside you na like to make it uh, brighter. Makita ka talaga to make you stand out among the rest. Kasi, oh sige, galing ka nga, Tineo, but okay. Well, I'm not really, ano ah, well, hindi ko, yung, anong tawag doon? I'm not really, parang ang sinasabi ko na, ah, oh, galing hanggang to. Ayun, ganon, partner. I mean, syempre, if you, ha- if you have the right mindset na and pinapakita mo sa tao na you're confident and alam mo na sarili mo na ma- kaya mo to, so you'll definitely stand out. And ayun nga, na-inspire din ako doon. Ayan, ng R4JP. So just to clarify, we're not uh, invalidating your... Ah, I'm sorry. So just to no, clarify, we're not invalidating your feelings or syempre, nakadepende pa din naman yun sa sa situation mo. We're just uh, we're just sharing some tips na syempre, if we have the right mindset, we also need the right action for that mindset. So, go to your PJ. Ayan. Ayan, partner, may isa pang tanong. Ayan, the question is from Judiel Bersamin. So, Ate Abigail, ano daw po ang difference ng BS in Management Accounting and BS Accountancy? Thank you po. Ayan. So, thank you, Judiel. So, sa school namin, sa St. Louis University, ladderize kasi yung program. So, um, di ba, five years yung accountancy, pero kapag nakatapos kami ng fourth year, gagraduate kami in BS Management Accounting. Tapos kapag nakatapos kami ng five years, BS Accountancy na, sa, na siya. So, common din to sa ibang schools yung ladderize program. I think sa UP naman, BS, kapag four years, BS Business Administration. Tapos kapag kinuntinyo nila to five years, BS Accountancy. Um, ang difference niya, ang eligible na mag-take ng board exam or uh, one of the requirements na mag-take ka ng board exam is BS Accountancy or Bachelor of Science in Accountancy dapat yung course mo. Um, same lang yung subject. Um, kaya siya naging ladderize kasi same lang halos yung mga subjects niya. Yun nga lang, mas wide scope si BS Accountancy. Ano ba yung nadagdag sa fifth year namin. Mm, yung mga review subjects, yung, um, ano pa ba? Ayun, actually, the same siya, pero hindi ka makakapag-board exam kapag management accounting. And also, management accounting, from the term it- itself, um, nandun ka sa management side ng accounting. So, siguro, more on, ano ka dito, um, sa, ad- sa pag-manage nung, nung production ng ng factories, ganun. Kasi yun yung mga inaral din namin or pag-manage ng finances ng companies. And whereas yung BS Accountancy, ito talaga yung uh, road mo to become a CPA and to uh, to take the board exams later on. Yun. So thank you, Judiel. Follow-up question, Miss Abigail. Na-curious lang ako kasi Uh, I saw with your credentials na both kayo po may Latin honors. For you, which one is more challenging? The BS Management Accounting or the Accountancy itself? The BS Accountancy. And ulit, sorry, Shad, Sanaya. All right. uh, which is, I'm curious lang po, which is more challenging for you in your own experience? Uh, BS Management Accounting or the BS Accountancy? Though both... both Ayan, so Latin thank you, Sanaya. Ano, um, since ladderized program siya, di ba, parang first year, second year, third year, pagdating mo ng fourth year, ka-graduate ka ng BS Management Accounting, tapos pagdating ng fifth year, BS Accountancy, so double degree na kami. And I think both challenging yon pero um, mas na-challenge na ako nung fifth year na, mas mahirap na yung subjects, um, may strategic management na rin kami dito, mas may review subjects na kami, so more on prepare ka na sa board exam. And yung last semester namin, um, ewan ko lang pala kung napalitan na yung curriculum ngayon, pero yung last semester namin for BS Accountancy, para kaming nagre-review school na. May review subjects na kami. 
So nag uh, may anim kami subjects na um na yung anim na subjects na ite-take for the board exam. So um parang overview na talaga siya nung nung other four and a half years na inaral namin. So challenging yun kasi i-compress mo yung four and a half years na inaral mo into one semester, di ba? Into half a year. Pero at the same time, um, challenging siya, pero katulad nga na sabi ko kanina, learning down lahat ng challenges natin. Dito nakita ko kung saan ako nagkulang, kung saan yung kailangan ko pang e-polish, kailangan ko pang e-master, kailangan ko pang aralin. Kasi, um, for the next, after after accountancy, magre-review ka sa board exams. And it would not be enough kung doon mo palang makikita yung weakness mo. Dapat doon, nagpa-polish ka na lang. So, ayun. Um, challenging siya in a sense na ang dami nung aaralin mo. Kasi, i-co-compress na niya lahat nung inaral mo for the rest of the 4.5 years, ba? Diba? Pero at the same time, blessing siya kasi nakikita mo na kung saan yung nahirapan ka. And mas na-open yung yung eyes mo kung saan industry ka din um, lalagay or lulugar in the future. Thank you po. So, meron ba po tayong questions from ating, uh, for our, our our VP for Eldasi? Hi! Hi, VP! Hi, MJ! So, his question po ay, Hi, Miss Abby! Ano pong tips ang maishishare nyo sa ating mga senior high school students na ngayon ay nagtitake at magtitake pa lang ng basic accounting. Ayan. So, ang masishare ko siguro tips or guidance. Ay, wait. Nakamute ako. Ah, hindi. Hindi pala. <laughs> sorry, sorry. May lumabas kasing mute sa taas nung itsura, eh, nung itsura ko, nung video ko. Ano. Ang masishare ko na tips sa ating senior high school. Actually, may pamangkin ako ngayon na ABM student din na um, first time niya magka-accounting. And lagi niya ako tinatanong, ano, mahirap ba to maganda? Maganda ba to Ganyan. Pero ang masasabi ko, the first time na um, I encountered yung basic accounting, uh, mas naging open-minded ako kung ano yung world ng accounting. Um, in, uh, masasabi ko, i-embrace nyo yung accounting. Accounting itself. Kasi ito na yung maglili ng foundation ng, um, ng mga future subjects nyo din. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na ano na ito lang yung pagtuunan nating pansin pero more of um patibayin natin yung foundation kasi um darating tayo sa time na babalik at babalik na lang tayo sa concepts. Ayan. Mm, babalik at babalik tayo sa concepts kasi babalik at babalik tayo doon sa foundation natin. And ang may advice ko lang sa inyo, i-embrace nyo maging open kayo sa sa learning. Kasi, um, actually sa amin, wala pa kaming senior high nun. Pero, I think you're lucky kasi may senior high, may na, na-prepare na kayo for um, basic accounting as early as now. Um, siguro tip na din, uh, um, huwag natin siya i-take for granted. Kasi, ito yung magiging buhay mo. And, dito na rin siguro natin tignan kung kung ano pa yung areas na gusto nating malaman or dito natin i i gauge yung interest natin pagdating sa accountancy. So, oh, and um last tip, hindi porke ano, hindi porke nahirapan ka kasi may, hindi naman laging puro failures pinagsasabi ko, no. Hindi naman laging mahirap, hindi at, at hindi rin naman laging uh, at hindi porke nahirapan ka eh, hindi na para sa'yo. Maybe you just have to try more, to learn more, and to um, understand more, to give it time. Yan. So, thank you. Thank you po, Ate Abigail. And syempre po, we have our last question po, Ate mm-hmm. Abigail. From Ira May Gimery. So, sabi na po, Hello po, Ate Abigail. Any tips po for incoming college students na magtitake ng accountancy? Thank you po. Ayan. So, thank you. Ano ulit sa yung niya? Sorry. Ayra May po. Ayan. Thank you, Ayra May, for your question. Siguro tips sa um, sa journey na kakaharapin natin sa mga incoming college students is that 
um, hibayan yung loob kasi um, it's endless possibilities talaga. Marami tayong um, marami tayong kakaharapin na challenges, marami rin tayong kakaharapin na saya and tears. Yan. Hindi ko naman sinasabing nakakaiyak talaga ang accountancy, pero yung hindi ah, hindi. Um, gusto ko lang kayo maging prepared na kaharapin yung um, yung tears na yon if if ever that time would come. And I hope not. Pero okay lang din kasi mapapagtibay kayo nun. Pero as I would always see, um, guard your character. Hindi, hindi siya laging about grades. Hindi siya laging about ranks. Pero more importantly, on how you uh, mold yourself. How you prepare yourself for the for the possibilities that would come. Um, maraming challenges, pero kailangan tibayan mo yung loob mo. Kailangan maging proactive tayo. Kailangan maging patient and determined and disciplined tayo. Maraming tukso din na dadating kasi minsan nakakanaman talaga mag-aral and that's normal. Um, marami din tayong peers, katulad nga nasabi ko, and I think you should acknowledge it para in order to overcome this fears and tears yan so um always guard your character laging ang bawat step na gagawin natin ay para sa ika improve ng character natin as a person and as a student as a colleague as a friend yan thank you yan thank you po ate abigail So at Abigail last, na, na ano din ako dito na napaisip din ako dito sa tanong. So this is going to be our last question po from um KZL Maliari Moore Shabayon, if I'm not uh, wrong. So sabi niya po Ate Abigail, hello po Miss Abigail, how about yung double degree na ino-offer ng school po like UP na BSBAA, allowed pa din po ba yun mag-take ng Sipale? Ah, I'm not sure lang. Pero ang alam ko kasing requirement talaga na mag-take ka ng um, CPA licensure exam is that you're a graduate of BS Accountancy. So, um, okay lang na may double degrees tayo. Madaming universities na nag-offer ng double degrees. Pero um, kailangan at the end or before taking the board exam, nakagraduate ka sa BS Accountancy. Yun. yun yung alam kong um, requirement talaga ng Board of Accountancy. Thank you po, Ate Abigail. Answer ko ba yung question? Yes po. Thank, Thank you, you po. So, ayan, our for jpians Ayan, sana nasagot lahat ni Ate Abigail ang inyong mga questions and queries. At alam ko na, sana, alam ko na inspire kayo to take this course and share Sana makita namin kayo soon. Our soon-to-be colleagues here in Region 4. And ayan nga, guys. Ayan. Uh, sana nag-enjoy kayo kay Ate Abigail. Uh, I hope na marami kayo itutunan kay Ate Abigail. And now, guys, at this moment, I will be reading the citation for the Certificate of, Appreci- of Appreciation for our speaker. Certificate of Appreciation is hereby presented to Ms. Abigail M. Angeles, CPA, sharing her time, knowledge, expertise as a guest speaker for the lecture series during the ABM Summit with the theme, Explora, a Voyage of Endless Possibilities of the National Federation of Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants, Region 4, given this 31st of January, signed by Annabel Angeles, Regional Vice President for Academics, Ms. Ain Caitlin R. Aguinaldo, Regional Council President, Mr. Mark Jason Rumaraog, RVP, Regional Vice President for Leadership Development and Social Civic Involvement, Mr. John Jerick Fernandez, Regional Co Advisor, Maria Lea Urgeles, Regional Co Advisor, and Mr. George Matthew Makatangay, CPA PSM Regional Advisor.
Thank you for Miss Abigail. Ayan. Abigail. Thank you, thank you, Ben. Um, NFGP Region 4. And um, of course, I'd like to take this opportunity to then to acknowledge and thank our NFGP uh, um, Region 4 Council. No, napakaganda ng initiative nila to to um give this talks, especially for our EBM students. And um, sobrang proud ako sa inyo mga JPians, kasi. At this early stage, you're already honing your um your skills, your character, your your soft skills. Ayan. So congratulations and see you all soon. Thank you for once again, Miss Abigail Angeles. Well